Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here at Fine-Tune CB. This is, well, I guess you could say kind of a sad day. Not really a sad day, but in memory of the General Lee. Due to these, okay, the 655, I'm no longer going to stock or carry the General Lee. I'll still service them and they've been a fantastic radio for a long time. I'll still keep servicing them, like I said, and or special order. But because of this radio, it's a few dollars more, but it's that much more of a radio. All the features, etc. So this is going to be basically, not the bottom of the barrel, but the bottom. It, the 955, and you guys know what else that we recommend. We suggest that you always go with what we recommend. And now let's see. All these little thingy do's here. Joel, this one's going to be yours. And everybody knows about my transmit, receive, etc. We'll show this one more time. the radio. <clears throat> Let's show 30 kilohertz at 1k tone. Yeah, nice. 1 kilohertz. We're going to show a little bit more here also, so stay tuned in. Yes, this is with MaxMod, by the way. And uh, the audio updates, an AF update. No, they don't come out of the box like this at all. Well, you get the drift. That's a 100 watt slug. Okay. Let me kill that. I don't want to listen to that. The variable talk back. See, the General Lee's. They don't have variable talk back. These have proven themselves. They're very consistent anymore. They're working great. The dimmer, everything works on these radios for a driver. And even you guys with the uh, the drive, you know, the other kind of driver into a big box, I could do just about anything you can imagine with these. And even if you wanted to run the PR40 or the 781 Heil mics, etc. This is a, a truck driver tune, one to pierce through the bullshit that's out there. I'll show you that. Someone's brought something up. There's no way that I could contour this frequency and blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, we do. Are we going to do every radio out there? No. Not every single one. Anyways, okay, it's, they, they do a great job. That's at one kill. Let's take a look at 30. Let's go to 300. That's the first harmonic at 54. Just hardly nothing at all. No, that's not out of the box. And it can be run. This is wide open power. That's half power. And it'll go down to like a water too. That's what I'd recommend run if you're gonna bucket mouth, you know, that's where you could run it, but no, it they'll put out some juice. And you can see that it achieves this perfect four to one. That's right. We'll show you a voice here in a minute. But well, anyways, uh, let's go back to one kilohertz. Put a little bit of voice into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Audio. One, two. A lot of people want to see it like this. So let's get around in there. Wide open power. Audio. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Yeah, nice, huh? Let's put one of these on here. This is what I basically have these radios contoured to. 
just because you have one in a striker doesn't mean yours is going to perform like this. It's a guarantee it's not going to. Anyways, let's turn the little range rod up here above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not talk back. And uh, let's see. There's talk back right there. On that side, this ain't stereo, but uh, that's talk back right there. I'm turning the talk back off. And we'll go right back on to uh, my Ranger sitting up over here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's no echo at all. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, 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 break. Audio seven. It's got all the echo you want. It's fully adjustable for any kind of tone you want. And that's the mic. All right. Yeah. Uh, but you can see full, rich, perfect sound. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker. Mud Duck Radio. Uh huh. All right, so let's uh, actually take a look at that curve. That's a wide open power. All right, now, oh, I don't want to listen to that. And I've mentioned these. I gotta come out a little ways to, sh to show everything. Cause you know, if you can't show it all, you're full of shit. So that's at 1K, we'll drop it down. Notice that there's absolutely no distortion. That's at 131. Let's turn this off so you can see everything. 220. But the unique part, okay, is achieving these higher frequencies and not splattering three or four or five other channels. Okay, there is 900. What I talk about is the taper at 4500 at 50% modulation and the taper at the very bottom, the taper at the very top. Watch them both, close. I'm pretty sure you can read that. Try to get it on there again. That's 3,000. Now watch the spectrum analyzer. Hold on a second. Now, there's like factory. They'll go up to round three. There's 3,600. And we're at, say, 4,496, or let's go right to 4,500. And now we're going to drop it off. There's 5,500 up to like seven, but there's 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 not really a lot there. We don't want a lot there, otherwise it'd be wasted energy splattering into the adjacent channels, and it wouldn't really have any quality of sound. But again, let's go back to there's 4,500 right there. And yes, this can be reproduced over and over. You guys that got some of these MI955s, if they're not a full custom tune, this is what they're doing. You know, it doesn't take a lot of power, really, to get out there and be heard. It's what you do with that wave and how the receiving radios can actually hear it is the biggest key. <clears throat> and how you utilize the energy. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick. And back down to 1K, you can see that. Alright, that's the 655. If you're not wanting sideband, 
I recommend this radio. Tune like you see. Yes, it's got exceptional receive. They got all the goodies. I like get it in there real good. There's a lot of other videos or you know read the book on it. But uh, it's hard to beat, you know. Simple to operate. Yeah, it's got Roger beep, noise blanker, high cut, and the dimmer you could dim it down to like nothing. Well, I haven't shown this. Let me go try to break my neck. I'll be right back and shut these lights off. I'm not going to shut the scope off. But I'm in a pitch black room. You know, and the camera, that looks bright as shit. <laughs> But it's not. I'm looking at it. I wear glasses. And uh, that's like 50% of what you see on the camera. It's very, very dim. Never mind that. Let me get the lights back on. Well, all I really need is this one. For now. Hold on. You hear all that popcorn on the floor. I'm packing and packing and packing. Well, anyways, General Lee's been a great radio and still will be. This is what I recommend. They've been a great radio. See the lights on in here, you can see how dim it is. But it's all adjustable. Or as bright as you want it. And all the colors also. Alright, all you gotta do is read the book. Variable power. There's your talk back, volume squelch, RFK, mic gain, your echo right here. Your box and find a course or just course, which you don't really need any of this. All right, unless you want to use the box. Great receiver, sounds good coming through the speaker, talks good. Good radio, You're getting nothing but great reports and testimonials on these. Stay tuned in, you know who it is? 163 down by the Rio Grande. If you're out there on those highways and byways, safety first and get those antennas up to snuff before it turns to shit out there. Later.